Conway Castle, where we might do some sailing or park the boat for a while. Maybe, maybe not. I don't know yet. But, uh, just taking a look at the area. So what's left? Right. Woods in. One knot. Well, we're getting a sign together to put outside the boat. We're just cleaning it up, and Rosie's giving it a good old uh, scrape and a good old sanding. Beautiful, Rosie. There you go. Look at this. Aha. What a shame. Not a sight you see every day. Poor ship at its day. Looks like the hull's gone, but back's broken. This is Zebu. Oh dear. Oh, the warmest day. It was windy the other day, it, and this has drifted across. They've had nowhere to uh, ring it up or, or, or hold it tight, and uh, as things have subsiding, so the boat has tipped right over. And it seems like the back of the boat is broken and the hull is displaced. So. It's a sad, sad tale, and we've just spoken to the owner, and uh, Susie's not here. Uh, she's not very well, so uh, all in all, a bit of a sad time. Scott's just gone on board. He's going to go and have a, a nose at the uh, damage. Report back later. Yeah, this is from the Bowsprit end. Just looking at the tragedy as Scott has come out. Creeping up the boat, checking all the damage. Whoa, this is a 315 hull and I just rolled on the green from here. That is a stonking drive. It is downhill, it goes up towards the green, but uh, I'll take that. Ooh, what happened here, eh? Ooh. 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 cleaning up these pipes, ready to put the pump back. The pipes have got to go in first. That's a new bit. Loz doing a bit of cleaning up at the um, angle. So, putting it all back in, that's the new piece. But uh, Loz is twisting there. And this runs right back into the next room. You can't see, that's very dark. So, next part of the job. So once that's in place, we'll offer up a pump up. Um, and then get the piece, new piece of wood in. Show the skipper, see if he's happy. Go to the next step. Right, new job. We're doing, uh, we're doing the top of the cabin, getting all this rock and wood off, renewing it, renewing this box, which was the control box, which we will um, all part and parcel of the next bit. Right back, getting rid of all the rocks. 
Yeah, time for a new box. If we go over this lot. Oh, look at this. Eh? Dig, dig, dig. Alright, making some guacamole. Uh, some lime. There, coriander, tomatoes. Something else, I'm sure. <laughs> we just want to go, we just want to be unaware of the gust. Sail Training Organisation, Director Sail Training, courtesy Jeremy. <laughs> Chris the cook. Chris funny yeah. <laughs> Actually, it's interesting because after we're hungry, I think I'll oh, eventually I'll probably think about this one. They're all going to fade away. Lovely egg butties for lunch. You look good, Loz. <laughs> Move it all that far, but we'll see. It'll be enough. Here we go. There's Loz down there. He is looking to uh, get the uh, rudder free from the mud so we can centralize the tiller up the top because right now we're over to too far to one side, so this is a bit of a job. A yeah, foot, okay. Right, looking at it. Good old Loz. Here we go. Here. Talk about between a rock and a hard place. <laughs> well done, Loz. <laughs> 